All right, we're gonna show you how to run a cake still with a reflux condenser. Check this shit out. We about to get drunk. All right, after you take your still, you fill it up with your mash, get your mash warm. It's time to cap her off now. Make sure you put your rubber ring in. And you could use this as cap on any type of keg. So if you got a pony keg, a half barrel, quarter barrel, uh, pretty much whatever's got this, uh, whatever's got this size. Fit. Sometimes a third hand. I'm gonna put this piece on. We're just gonna let it hang here until she warms up a little bit more and we get her tightened up. We'll come back. We're gonna hook water up to these pieces here. That way it'll cool. All right, so now we're ready to tighten up our condenser. We're gonna put it, I'd say about 45 degrees, between 30 and 45 degree angle. You can always adjust if you need to. And if we need to come back and tighten up later on, you'll know. We got a, it's a little submergible pump in our cooler. Remember you want to run it in the bottom. That way the whole thing fills up and pushes cold water all the way around this. And then you get your out tube. Put that on the bottom. Put this up with water. off so they don't leak so you know we ain't got no clamps we have electrical tape And if you got a little drip, it's not a big deal. Wife will clean it up. Used to help so. 
So now we're just gonna let this run, we're gonna set up our jar, and we'll come back to you when we start running, catching them heads. All right, once we get up to about 170 to 180, we got our heads coming out. We're gonna throw off the first 250 milliliters out of this. This is poisonous. If you drink it, it'll make you blind. It could kill you. I mean, if you really want to get drunk, no, nah, don't do it. All right, so this is the beginning of our second two-quart jar. And I'd say we're going to get about half this full one and call it a done deal. And, but you can see these refluxes are pretty cool. Small self-contained units. So come back to you all said and done when we give her a taste. All right, we're gonna try that shine we ran through that uh, reflux condenser. I ended up with a gallon of 125 proof. This is a quart of it. it smells good. Um, I believe the mash build on this was six pounds of brown sugar, four pounds of white, and then corn and rye. How much corn, how much rye? Maybe four pounds of corn um, and a pound of rye. Ooh, what's the proof? 125. Too good and hot. You can taste that brown sugar. Get that little molasses at the end. Come out pretty good, man. I like that reflux. It definitely runs better and cleaner. That sweetness of that brown sugar hangs around. Yeah, you can taste it. Oh, it's real sweet now. Yeah. The brown sugar real comes sweet. in real late. That's not a bad build. I do know the brown sugar didn't produce as much alcohol in the mash. So I just, after 14 days, it didn't ferment all the way. It was just like time to run it. So the fact I got a gallon of 125 out of that come out pretty good yeah we'll uh we'll build one of those keg stills and uh we'll make a video of it for you show you how to put together that reflux condenser pretty cool um kegs are really cool you can build all kinds of shit out of them you want a brew pot for brewing beer keg still barbecue yeah, yeah. barbecue wood burning stove I, I had a table once when i was a kid made out of, of kegs the keg and then there was a tabletop pretty cool um this is pretty good this is definitely a clear you up it's pretty strong shit uh, the cure for the covid i don't know we'll uh we'll put a link in the description if you want to make your own keg still to to the parts besides that uh fuck your mama bitch <laughs>